Hello everyone, it is I, Republic Studs, and today the Book of Boba Fett trailer has officially dropped. And every time we get a big trailer for a Star Wars project, I like to make a set ideas video on it based on all the material we get. Now we are going to be getting into a total of eight set ideas in this video from this trailer. There was not a lot to work with, so I had to, you know, come up and improvise a lot. So with that said, I'm gonna ask you all to smash the subscribe button, and we are going to get right on into it. And yes, by the way, I am dressed as Boba Fett. This was my seventh grade Halloween costume. It's still happens to fit because I got it very large and I still think it's pretty cool. And, and also, I do want to quickly shout out this guy on Instagram, Ninja Warrior one two four five, made this fantastic poster. They recently did a poster for the the new trailer, and he, his, this poster he made looks insane out of Lego. I, I really want to credit him. It looks really cool. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Now let's get into our first one. Now I think I want to cover is that a lot of summer sets for next year have already kind of rumor leaked. So, so we already have a rumor for some sets. Now we do know there's going to be one Book of Boba Fett set, and that's going to be the Boba's Palace. So that one's a rumor that's probably going to happen. It's almost certain uh, at a hundred dollars. Uh, which is pretty good, and there's also another rumor in there uh, that we're getting a Rancor in this set, which is somewhat neat. Now, seeing that it's a $100 set, every modern $100 set, other than the Resistance ITS transport, it's come with five figures, so I thought that it would make sense for this particular set to also have five figures. I'm going to exclude the Rancor from this. Uh, but yeah, so it's going to have a throne room, that is my guess, a throne for Boa Fett, uh, maybe a, the dining room we see in the trailer would be really sick, I, I don't know if they do that with all of the, you know, the characters sit down and eat, uh, and then maybe that overlook that we see at the very end uh, with Fennec Shand and Boba Fett standing on at, at, at towards the end of the trailer, and I have a feeling that those would all be great things to see in a Jabba's Palace type set. Now the figures I would include in this are obviously a updated Boba Fett, and this goes for all of these bees, obviously he looks like he got some you know busted up armor already. I'd like to see Lego go back and fix the Boba Fett minifigure. I hope they do. There's no guarantee they will, but I hope they do for sure. Uh, now, another one, obviously, Fennec Shan. She came in the Moff Gideon Light Cruiser. You're going to be seeing her a lot on this list, too, because she seems to be an anta like a, you know, a protagonist character that's going to be along Boba for the remainder of this show, so that should be pretty exciting to see. We also saw the Gamorrean. Now, we could see the old mold return. Uh, likely, I think we'd see a new mold because, you know, they're not wearing as much shirt as they used to. Uh, so probably we'll see a new type of Gamorrean, which should be pretty good. Uh, maybe the Athorian crime boss. I do not know what his name is, but but we did see Momon Nadin uh, in the cantina, so we could use the same mold. Obviously, Lego has that back in circulation. Uh, then we also saw some sort of Trandoshan captain in there that could also, you know, maybe we make Bosk. Uh, but, but those would all be great, obviously. And then obviously, I, I put the Rancor on here. It could be Patissa from the original Rancor. Maybe it's just the corpse. Maybe it's the one from the Bad Batch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now, next up, we have a $39.99 set. This is a Tatooine shootout. It's based off of that whole little city we saw. I don't know if that's like I am both Isley or Espa, and they just really updated it or whatever. Uh, but I'm just calling this Tatooine shootout because there was a little gun slinging fight going on here. Obviously, Boba Fett and Fennec Shand would be the obvious figure selection. And then maybe one of those cool red riot guards. Uh, now, those guys come with these cool, like, invisible red shields. So I'd be curious to see how Lego would do those. And I think this is very likely, seeing as, you know, it was in the trailer. Lego tends to do stuff that's in the trailers of these. And I would love to see this. And... Also, I think, you know, you probably see a little market build, like with like little, little shops and stuff, uh, much like the Unkar Pletch Jakku encounter uh, set, that, that one has like a little shop on it, so something along those lines, I was thinking even like the Basana Cheater Speeder Chase has this little like shop on it, so it's probably going to be something along those lines. It's obviously a $40 build I put, just so that way they can maybe even put a little building, like if you guys remember from the most icely cantina, you get the little Tatooine building, so maybe something along those lines. Now next up, I have a fun small little build, and at the beginning of the trail, obviously we saw the pit droid, so I was thinking, you know, a pretty good fun idea I had is to do a pit droid build. Now this one could be UCS, but I'm leaning more towards like the style of the little Imperial probe droid we got, like those helmet sets type sets. Uh, I like that kind of like, concept for a pit droid a lot. I don't even know if I'd buy that, but it would be really cool uh, to see a little pit droid there. I think $79.99 would make a lot of sense. Just a smaller build. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Maybe a UCS set, I guess. The probe droid counted as a UCS set. But yeah, with that said, let's get into the next one. So I chose next up, we saw an Athorian crime boss. Is like he had a whole throne and set up. So I just put a $29.99 Athorian crime boss throne. We don't know his name, so I'm just calling him that for now. Uh, but it would come with that Athorian crime boss, 
Boba Fett and the Twi'lek interpreter. We saw a Twi'lek next to him, so I'm just assuming that's an interpreter, uh, which would be pretty cool, and I'd like to see some more Twi'leks. We haven't seen any in LEGO really since Harrison Jula, uh, which is really rather unfortunate. I, I would like to see more of those. Those are obviously very cool little species we got there. And then, you know, I'd like to see, obviously, this new Ithorian character. I'm trying to think of ways that it would be likely for LEGO to make him, and, you know, maybe his throne would be a likely possibility. I guess we'd have to wait and see. Next up, I was really struggling for helmet set ideas. I wanted to throw in one helmet set. And the only real interesting helmet we saw, other than Boba's, which you already have, I have right here even. But the only other one I can think of is Fennec. Now, I'm assuming she's going to be a pretty popular character after this show. She's obviously been in two seasons of The Mandalorian, a season of The Bad Batch, and this show. So she's been all over the place in recent Star Wars. Um, but yeah, I think it would be more than appropriate to get her helmet for $59.99. I kind of would probably be likely to buy it, because it, I always thought the helmet was kind of neat looking. Uh, but yeah, so with that said, let's get into the next one. And this is obviously a brand new UCS Slave one. Now the last one I believe we got in 2015 or 16, maybe even 20. 14, I can't 100% remember, but this would be a new and improved model. Obviously, the last one was a gorgeous set, now going for like $700 on the aftermarket, which is kind of bananas, and I, I think it's really unfortunate because I would love to have a slave one. Now, obviously, we're not going to get as many figures as last time. I think this time we'd probably only get Boba and Fennec. I don't know how much they could make them more better, uh, other than maybe get Fennec hair. But, like, they are both perfect figures for the most part, minus a few minor, you know, details they have to detail up. Uh, so I don't know what they'd really do with figures there. If they'd, like, just throw in Fennec, or maybe they'd throw in someone even cooler. Now, next up, I wanted to throw in a purely speculative idea. This is based off of no evidence, no, no inside scoop or anything. This is just based off of some small rumors, nothing really real. So I guess you could tune out now if you don't want to hear any spoilers that I've made up, so there's no real substance to this. But this would be Cad Bane's ship. Now, we did see Cad Bane's ship in the Bad Batch show, which was really cool. He has a new little ship. And if we see him in this Book of a Fit show, now that's, I think, been rumored. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but I think this would be a kind of good way to market that particular set. I'm thinking $100 around the same size as the Resistance ITS transport. Uh, obviously, it would come with Cad Bane, which is sick. And then we would also see, like, his little droid. You could see Toto 360. Uh, obviously, a great character. Probably would be a build, but, you know, I could see it possibly being some sort of character mold. Uh, obviously Boba Fett, I feel like he's just a staple in the same way they throw Beskar Mando in like every Mandalorian set. I guess it would be the same thing here. IG-88 would be a kind of must. I, I feel like he would show up in this show. That would be really cool. And then obviously Bosk. I just threw Bosk in there because why the heck not? You know, maybe even Mace Windu. I guess, I guess we'll see. Now the way we usually work these types of videos is I will make a, you know, rumor video like this when the trailers come out, and then after the trailers come out, we, we go and make one once the show is finished. And seeing that the show does not look to be finishing at least until probably January, February, you're probably not going to see another Set Ideas video until then. With that said, you guys all got to stay tuned because I am very excited to see the show. It is coming out December 29th, 2021. So very tail end of this year, after the holidays, after everything, two days after my birthday, and yeah. With that said, I want to hear your set ideas. What did you guys think of the Book of Boba Fett trailer? Did you like it? Did you not? I want to hear about it. With that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Remember to peace out, and stay awesome.